Vanessa. And we are late to the party, and it's match number two of 2019 Schmodown Collision. Hell of a match to start us off, but now we are going into a little bit more stakes on the line. The first one, the results will be fun. We'll see how they play out, but this one has an immediate impact on what we are going to see come San Diego Comic-Con. Yes, we've got Mike Kalinowski versus Kevin Smith. Now, yeah. this has been coming a long, a long time coming. Right. Kevin coming into this uh, to this league and saying, putting everyone on notice. Of He's course. like, I want this person. I want this person. He even took out Navarro. Yeah, Navarro! Former champ. Yeah. So he is out there for blood. Yeah. And he his next target is Mike Kalinowski. Now, Mike Kalinowski is, of course, kind of wanting to come back and take that belt back. I mean, he... He did have it. It got taken away by yeah. our Rachel. And then, of course, now he's like, you know what? I He's going to have to pl go against Kevin Smets uh, to get go back against Rachel. But I just feel <laughs> like storyline wise, it would be uh, fantastic for the dungeon to pull ahead and be able to start claiming some belts. It makes them noteworthy competitors. At the same time, I don't want to see corruption go anywhere. I love corruption, and this would actually help corruption build up as rebuild up as that dominant force in the league. It's good for corruption to have some gold in the family. And I, I either way, I want them to go. But I, man, in this case, like, I don't want Rachel to lose the belt either. So it's like, who do I want to go up against and have the most fun live? We've seen Kalinowski on the platform when it comes to a live show. Uh, and the man is, is fantastic. It's great. Like, he dominates the crowd where Smets is more so docile, quiet, hoodie. So as a showman, I think it would be better to see Kalinowski up in the lights. But uh, when it comes to the knowledge and just destroying everyone in front of him, Smets would be a uh, force to be reckoned with, already is. Granted, like you said, Smets is kind of the quieter person, but yeah. then you also get Kaiser with that. So Kaiser yep. is his, yep. his voice box yep. at this moment in yeah. time. So he'll be the one coming out yeah. and being like That's that dominant force at the live show. And I'm yep. pretty sure that he can do a fantastic job at getting everybody pumped He's for Kevin piece. Smets. Yeah. So let's get into the battle between Kevin Smets and Mike Kalinowski. Nah. Mm -hmm. And Draco, man, I love him. <laughs> well, the manager bowl has come and gone, and now we start to get. To we also the refilled our drinks. More because look, this first big. Huge By the time we get to the title, today, team title match, it is so hyped Whew. up. It is such a crazy matchup that it almost sounds like a championship match. You have the new rookie sensation, the Smasher, Kevin Smets, three and zero. Oh, Three knockouts going up against the former Inner Geekdom champion, the Mike Killin Killer Kalinowski from Corruption. He's the former champ. He is God, dedicated Smets has been knocking him out all the way there, too. He's this just cleaning house. There's yeah. been a lot of trash talk. There's been a lot of back and forth yeah. between these competitors. And what I love about this one. matchup is the clash of study techniques because Kevin Smets has kind of patented his own version of what Mike Kalinowski has done. Mike Kalinowski walks around with a big Bible all around town. He's getting healthy. Yeah, he's got he the book. that body otherwise, yeah. and he's studying. And he's sipping smoothies and he's studying again. Kevin Smets, he goes to Hot Topic, he buys hoodies in bulk, then he goes down <laughs> to a deep bunker in Area 51 and he does not come out till he knows everything about every inner geekdom category. I mean, that's the thing though. You're 100% you're right that it reminds like we've, we've always joked around and said, like, Alanowski's yeah, knowledge is divided uh, between trivia, regular league play and, and inner geekdom, though. To what UFC did when Smets is it was just one style. Advantage just, Smets. And it's very similar to our competitors. Just punching they, and kicking and throwing sand. But the faces. competitors <laughs> knew what they knew. They just knew what they knew and there wasn't any studying but the next level of competitor studied the next level had new techniques and they would change and you saw that whether it's a, a, a Shire Wolves or if it's Ben Bateman or Kevin Smets who has just evolved the studying technique and has become Mike Kalinowski by the way done the same thing like you said before but these two guys this is the evolution of a player in Mike Kalinowski that was that came in in the old guard but became a new guard player and then you get Kevin Smets who rose from the fan leagues who he didn't work out in his first audition, went to the fan leagues, 
crushed it over there, and now you have these two people playing. Tried and true. And the winner Proved gets himself. to play the inner geekdom champion herself, yep. Rachel the Crusher Cushing, in San Diego in front of a live crowd July 20th at the Joan B. Croc Theater. You said it all, Christian. July 20th, the winner gets to face Rachel Cushing. The loser will be playing bingo in Bakersfield July 20th. <laughs> it is a high-stakes match here, Christian. Who's going to win? Who's going to lose? Who had the most free time to study? Well, this is a hype match. Like we said, you guys have been talking about it on Twitter. Make sure you're doing the same thing too especially for this match hashtag schmodown collision three hashtag kalinowski versus smets and let's start talking about it on social media and we are going to show you this is the, the story on how we got here it's incredible here we go all right eric let's see your handy work theatrics, no more dress up in costumes coming in all that kind of thing like that i had a goal i said i'm going after that belt this belt right here it's for corruption you guys stood with me through it all the ups and the downs to go we are. So this belt, it's for you guys out there. The Meant a lot to him, too. Throwdown, throwdown. That's right. Two matches in one live streaming event. The main event, Rachel Cushing looking to become the inner geekdom champion against the reigning champion, Mike the Killer, K.O. <laughs> Mike Kalinowski has tied the game. Sudden death to go. Cruiser Ninko. Ninka. Yes, this, isn't this, isn't just, this is just how it goes. I lost, I'll come back and I'll go and I'll win it next time. She bleeds. I cut her and she bled. A spelling error? I'm going to lose on a spelling error? No. We're going to go again. Yeah. New competitors in the inner uh, division, Christian. We get to see a dream realized and one crushed for all eternity. My pick last year was Ethan Irwin. This year, my pick is Kevin Smasher Smets. Also auditioned through Patreon. Didn't make the cut when he auditioned. Went to the fan leagues, did very well, watched some of his matches, said, all right, let's give you a shot. Kevin! Fan leagues, man, Smasher! that is a, a pool of talent. I don't know who this Kaiser is that no he's got idea. with him. He's got this manager, Kaiser, who seems to be talking a lot of smack. Three, two, one. That's it. And your winner, Kevin Smasher! Jimmy Kalinowski, and he just walks out. I love it. Jen is who's next. How about Navarro? Why don't we bring Navarro out? Why don't we get somebody out there who <laughs> can give Jen. this kid a challenge? He started taking shots at Hector Navarro, former Inner Geekdom champ. And you know who thought that was disrespectful? The Urban Gladiator. He was watching it all go down, too. Who was yeah. Jenny Weasley Inman. dating before kissing Inman's Harry? Inman's been watching it all go down. And he was on Collider Live, had a great discussion about Jay it all. called yeah. me I didn't call Jay out. And now Jay got knocked out. I don't want to face Hector Navarro. Then you're going to have to learn a lesson in humility today, my friend. I will be the friend to give it to you. If he misses this question, <laughs> love Smets Hector. steals it, the game and the knockout will go to Smets. Who is the first dwarf to arrive at Bag End? A whole nother game now, Hector. Glowing. A whole nother game. Dwalin, give me Kalinowski. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Amazing. Mike Kalinowski. Eric, where are you getting your royalty free that's music, like man? Smasher. So Kevin good. That's yeah. Mike Kalinowski, who will win. We just watched what he is capable of. I definitely would be looking out for Spets. We're two matches away from a championship belt. All that goes away when Mike Kalinowski wakes you up and slaps you back into the little minor leagues you know you're going to end up at. The next thing that's going to come out of my mouth correct answers when I get a perfect first round, a perfect second round, and then I knock Mike Kalinowski you imagine, out. though, man? It's Babe Ruth sure calling his shot. His KO when I knock him out. If he does it. At a suite if at the he does Rock it. Hotel in downtown San Diego. It's Kalinowski, it's Cushing, it doesn't matter because I'm here to win. You can't deny Kalinowski's talent. I think it's going to go down to the wire, but... I think right, the that's right. Smith will smash. Oh, yeah, there it is. That's <laughs> me, my friend. I've seen people like you. You come in, the fans love you. They burn so bright, and they fade into obscurity. They're gone. That's you a knock. Friend, That's a knock. You're bumping right there. Over my title. A yeah. brown dwarf star, maybe. Smash him! Smash him! <laughs> Damn, Mike, you up against a, a hell of a competitor right now. Yeah, look at Damn. it. Damn! Yes! Come on! How, Eric? Ah! <laughs> Look at that, the blockout. So good. 
Oh my god! What? Just reactions to these videos. What's well, the reaction to the promo? Yeah. Is Eric. On the line. Has been. The league has changed. I have proven that. You're going to that third round. Smets, here's my challenge to you, guy. I want us to go, and I want you to take me to sudden death, and I want us to beat that record. I want them to lose questions. We're going past that. And at the end, though, I'll shake your hand when you lose, and I'll send you back on your way. <laughs> was, I was right there off to the side. I was standing Ooh. off stage before that happened. Such a good promo. Amazing. And the music's still kicking in. Music's still in the background. It's like the guy works for trailers or something. My God, yeah. I am so hyped. I watched that promo earlier today. I had goosebumps. Yeah, I no joke. Watching. Two of the great inner geekdom players going no at it. No joke. They both Hell of a so promo. Badly. They both want to play in San Diego for the championship. You got a professional trailer maker so right there my making your promo. God, man. What a trailer that yeah, I mean, He's good I was at already it. Yeah. Great. Under my armpits now under my boobs as well. Because <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's just knowledge pouring out of every fiber in these two gentlemen's beings, but only one of them gets. It gets me hyped. That that, that that brought my energy back. It really yeah. did. It's gonna be It's gonna be loud. It's gonna be contentious. There's going to be a lot of trash Down the talk. Gen right I just there hope that at some point we actually get to the actual trivia because I, I, there's a lot of great hype and hubbub, but these guys know a lot yeah. about these categories. All right, the quick tale of the tape here for the Inner Geek to match between Kalinowski and Smets. Mark, you got uh, – They're good at everything. You got, they're good at everything. <laughs> Back that's, to you. that's really the tale of the tape. They that's are it. good at everything. All right, with that, Mark, I'll ask you, are you ready to get going? I'm pumped, baby. You are pumped and ready go. to go. Then I ask everyone else, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie, movie trivia showdown. <laughs> Introducing <laughs> first, <laughs> representing the dungeon. Damn, man, I need. I want Kalinowski to win too. I want KO. His manager, Kaiser. Either way, it'll be a good game. With a record. Switching it up. I want wins. I want KO to walk no away. I want him to show we still got it. Smets is gonna have plenty more time. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. I'm still going Smets because I, I want to see if he can go all the way. Smasher. That's the thing is is Cal it. Could you imagine Kalinowski versus Cushing though live in front of all those people oh, after the last match? Yeah, it'd be good too. Oh. Showed up to support <laughs> the whole dungeon. The whole dungeon. Look at the focus. They're ready. Look, the, the, the dungeon, even though Sipper came off of that loss there, though, you know, you got Paulo Yama who's going for a number one contender yeah. shot, and then you got Smets at the number one contender shot, so they're there backing up for the big good game. Don't have a fade out on that audio? I get it. It's, it's tough. Kevin Smets, not these since these live things putting everything together, so it's rough. And intense. They kill it as, with all they do opponent. right now. Representing Corruption. What's that? What's that music? Led to the ring by his managers. They should come out to Last Action Hero, the Jack Slater theme. He is the number one ranked Inner Geekdom Tim will put in a good word for that. Movie trivia schmodown, Inner Geekdom, champion of the world, Mike the Killer Kalonowski. The new Corruption theme song by David B. There we go. David B. hitting that new Corruption theme song. Okay, so it's uh, Band-Aid. Perfect. I love it. Oh, it's Red Vines now? <laughs> Just still looking at the camera. Ready to get going there as he hits the table. Kalinowski and Smets, one of the most anticipated inner geekdom hell matches. Got to work on that fade out on the audio. Very different styles of dressing here. Only one would get a table at Spago. You can feel, <laughs> you can feel the energy in the room here as we get set to begin. Mark, round number one out of this three-round number one contender inner geekdom battle. How's it go? Round number one, the field of competitors. Damn, we got to play. Uh, it's just two. Then there's. It's all. It's all. I'm gonna lose. It's, it's inner geekdom now. It's all this is, this is where the fun the begins <laughs> for Vanessa, who's going to swing your way. You're more inner geek than me. One point. As soon as you hear it, please write down your best. I got my own league. It's a Star Wars league. My best friend, Alex Damon. To reveal your answer, please show what you wrote on the Drink in the bar with him 
time at that uh, Holiday Inn bar. That was a lot of fun with him and Molly that uh, was spoken about by Ken Napsok and uh, Kaiser. Oh, that's smart. Look her up before we get into this. Christian, back to you. All right. Here we go. So we're going to start with the former champ first, Mike Kalinowski. Are you ready? I'm ready. Everyone's got to leave. Smets, are you ready? Ready. Then let's get ready to, to Schmurda! <laughs> All right, gentlemen. <laughs> there there is, uh, there, th none of this is false pretense. Like, it actually is as tense here yeah. as you would imagine it is at home. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's like Tyson Holyfield. I'm not I'm so scared. <laughs> the MCU is the first category. The MCU, including post credit scenes, Thanos appears in how many MCU movies? 20 seconds to answer this one. You know, when he, when he, um, when he snaps his fingers, mm -hmm. it doesn't make a noise, or does it? Special effects. He's got kind of fat fingers. Five. <laughs> that's a, see, Four. that's a snap. Three. Five. Two. One. Pens down. We start with Mike. Six. It's incorrect. Five. Five is correct. Yeah. Schmetz draws you first blood. You got Age of Ultron, draws first a Guardians blood. of the Galaxy, Second and then Infinity question. War, and Endgame. Second question comes from the galaxy far, like said, far away. Man. That is Star Wars. Star Here we go. Come on. Your question. In Solo, A Star Wars Story, name the two actors who portrayed Darth Maul in the film. All right, I'm going to put you through oh, this damn. right now. Okay. I'm going to say you can either go see a Why am I? In oh, my God. Story, or you Why am I blinking on both of their names right now? Let me answer this. Five. Repeat the question. All right, here you go. All right, got more time. Right. In Solo, A Star Wars Story, he was name one of them two actors was just that Phoenix fan fusion. Small in the film. So I'm walking around, so mingling with everyone. It was great. <laughs> you, you can't use oh. the J. That's right. cheating. All right, fuck. Damn you, Josh the Engineer. <laughs> and his adorable Five. bulldog doll. Oh, I almost forgot their names. Two. Oh, you got one. the last Smith. one wrong. Or first one wrong. You have it, Mike. Ray Park and Sam Witwer. Damn it. Correct. <laughs> wow. That's so right. Close. Damn it, I was close. I thought it was Parker. But I started know. writing no Peter Serafinowicz, but home. he wasn't wow. asked okay, to come back. From her Middle Collider Earth. Life. Middle Earth. Yeah. In the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I got that. What one. is the name of the Hobbit's preferred drinking establishment in the Shire? Easy Buffalo Wild Wings. Is this question three? Did you see that clip of Buffalo yes. Wild Wings yesterday? I missed the first one, didn't I? Yes, he did. <laughs> Why did you give myself a point? <laughs> it might be fake. It's from New York Post, but check it out on Five. <laughs> anyway, four, thanks for our sponsor. I didn't hear the question. Yeah, it doesn't matter, though. Two. It's middle air if I would have lost. Oh, yeah. Pens down, please, and we go with Kalinowski. Prancing Pony? No. and I didn't have it. Didn't have it. What? The that's wow. that's two. Dragon. Green Dragon. The uh, green that's two. Dragon. Not to be confused with Pete's. I wonder oh, if the nerves are getting to both. No, 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 no. You got it. You guys uh, got it. Next question. All right. Next question is in the world of DC. DC. What's the name of the police officer played by Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who figured out Batman's secret identity in The Dark Knight Rises? We do need the first and last name. Damn. All right, they're both scribbling furiously, yeah. trying to get back on the well, proverbial all tied up. Yeah. Five. One to one. I don't know. You guys don't Four. know anything. This is just in my head. It's Robin something. Two. No, Robin was his Smith. little nickname. His but John Blake. Yes. John Blake. Uh, Damn it. John Robin Blake. Yes. I put, I put John right. Burke. We You're wouldn't close. take either one. Close. Okay, next question here. Next question. Marvel films. Marvel. What is the alphanumeric code name? of the feral younger clone of Wolverine as featured in 2017's Logan. That was a great read. question read by It wasn't bad, right? It was nervous. Yeah, I, I, I looked at it and I was like, there's Can no way he's making it. I was thinking about <laughs> just junking a whole bunch of words, but I didn't. I kept it going. Damn. <laughs> Excitement in your face Five, that you nailed it. Four. I couldn't yeah. believe it. Three. I was going to put X21. One. Pens down, please. And Mike Kalinowski? X23. Yes. Smets. The feral, it's X24. It's the the older one. It's the clone of Logan that comes and kills Xavier. It's X24. X23 is what we have. Are you challenging I'd like it? To challenge that. All right, yes. here's the challenge. Here we challenge go. Challenge. challenge. Hey, go challenge. To the graphic. Challenge I'll be on the, right back live on the here table. on the Collision 3. There challenge. you go. Kill the mics. Throw it to under review. I love it. It's perfect. This is how it goes down when right. you're there, you know? I think it's because of the way that the question is worded, too. Yeah, it, and that's the thing, is that depending on the wording, it could very possibly be right. 
if you get right. deep in there and you're like, oh, damn, yeah, the wording led us to the right answer. But 23 is the one that they were talking everybody about. talked about, X-23. Right. But there was a one that attacked Logan, so his clone, yeah. like... That's true. That's yeah, true. That's a hell of you know Jay's that, in there. You know Rachel's true, yeah. in there. You know everyone's in there. They're talking about it right now. Oh, here we go. We're All back. Right. We're coming We're back. back from the decision here. And from the wording of the question alone, both competitors are actually correct in the way that the wording of the question was. Because it could have been read as either the younger clone of Wolverine or thinking what Mike, I think, well, he was thinking there of the younger girl herself. So we're going to award both. All right. Mike, All right. To X23. All right. Yes. Anything from X23. I didn't get it either. Yeah, they both get it. So and, and I got one. And Smets will good still job. have his challenge there. Good job, Smets. Challenge, yeah. good news for us yeah. because we love challenges. All right. <laughs> your next question, you are tied at three. Come to your sixth category in round number one is in the world of Harry Potter. And your question, in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, what is the name of the ghost that Harry and the other Gryffindors speak with after the sorting ceremony? It's like, oh, it's like you, you, when you spot Nearly headless. How you could be nearly headless? Three. Two, oh, no! One, I, put, I didn't put nearly. Nearly headless Nick. Oh, yes. no! Nearly headless Nick. Yes. There it is. Hi, I wouldn't give it to me. <laughs> nope. I wouldn't give it to me. Yeah. The whole time right, I was thinking about who was it from the book that you were playing in the game. In 2009. Peace. But he's not in the movie. But he's in, I know, but that's why I started thinking. George Kirk, hold. Not the rank. If you give us the rank, you'll be asked to lose. Five. Four. Repeat the question. Three. Repeat two, the question. One pens down. Mike. Lieutenant? No, no that sir. is incorrect. Navigator? Also no, incorrect. Looking for executive officer or first officer? Ah, That's right. Um, All right. Next question. Tough one. I got Next one. Question. In the world of the DCEU, this is the... DC extended. You didn't get X twenty three. What is the X-21. name? Uh, need the first and the last name of Billy Batson's foster brother and best friend in Shazam. I don't know his name. <laughs> I am only pronouncing that movie and mother yeah. appropriately with the exclamation point. What's so funny? Damn, about purple kid has it all. A bunch of misses. Uh, five. <laughs> I'm four, just gonna go with three. his his, two, yes, was. Not, his not that's character. not even his, his character. not character in it. Freddie Freeman. Yes. There it is. Beat beat Richie. Oh, <laughs> but that's not even the character. I know it's <laughs> not him. It's Finn Wolfhard's <laughs> character. All right. But that's all that came to mind. At least I had an answer. Heroes and villains in the comic based bulletproof monk. Who plays the nameless monk? You know, you can get so locked into studying like I your, honestly your don't know his DC, name. It's it's cool. I know this. There's a lot of movies yeah. based on. I can is see Sean his William face. Scott in it as well? Five, yeah, he is. I can see his four, face, but I don't remember his name. Three, two. Chow is he Yun young or young? Chow Young Fat? Yes. Chow Young Fat. Tie game. And here's the match. Here's the match. There you go. I put a G at the end of it. Right at the now, very uh, last uh, second, I put a G. I should have left it. You should have left it. I should have left it young. I wouldn't give myself that one. It's from the world of mixed bag. Could be literally anything. That's how it goes. But probably a geeky question. In the film Cowboys and Aliens, who plays Harrison Ford's troublemaking son, Percy? I know this one. Because he was a was big disappointment. He'd be making a lot of trouble. Yeah. He's so good, and you made him a little bitch. Carpenter yelling at you. Get off the horse. Five. <laughs> four. Three. Victor by John Favreau, Two. too. I need yeah. to revisit it. One yeah. pants down. We start with Smets. Paul Dano. Yes, Mike. I did put Logan Lerman. Didn't have Ooh. it. So Smets goes Pulling in. Ahead. Down number two with a one point lead. And that could make a big difference here. Yeah, good. Yep. As we see that they went back and forth in that first round. They both struggled in the beginning, picked it back up, and Smets comes out just one point ahead Mark's glowing. of KO Mike Kalinowski. Yeah, for these two, it's a defensive struggle in round number one, although very spectacular we played otherwise. And as we move into round number two, this is the wheel round, the wheel of fate, doom, and... It's funny how uh, that wheel like, has you watch 
Christian, man. He gets nervous as it plays Geek along, Geek too. But he's well, even about, like, biting his nails right now real quick because it's uh, it's a nail-biter for sure. Yes. What I got? I got two. I got four. Damn, man. I don't even try in memorizing, memorizing, memorizing inner geekdom. I almost took these off. I need them. It's, it's the booze. <laughs> oh, we are going to be in trouble in the third match. category contains five questions. All right, so we start now with Kevin Smets, who finds himself in the lead. First or second? You're going to go first. Okay. He's going first. Thank you for not deferring, Mr. Smets. <laughs> <laughs> we had plenty of that already. Not the peg here yeah, that's Smets. what Kaiser, his manager, has got to be telling him. <laughs> the biggest match of Kevin yeah. Smets. Little support. Player. What's it going to be? Down as he spins here. Talk he it through. himself only up by one point. He's not these dominant leads that he's had before, but what kind of second that's round right. is he going to have? Good thing great. Kaiser has that. I'm going to go DC him. movies. <laughs> this is something. <laughs> No, I'm okay. And okay, DC fine. DC movies. How does Smets feel it. about it? He's oh, I knew it. Again, I think. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I knew it. I, I just, it is. felt that way. Let's well, see. What's it, it going to be? He played Hector Navarro, and he landed on an opponent's choice. Hector Navarro gave him uh, movie quotes, and he still knocked it out of the park. Yeah, so. I feel like either one of these guys, if you stick them with a category that they would spin away from, they still are capable yeah. of getting I'm going to go uh, heroes and right. villains. I know the wheel round pretty well, so the question is what it's going to land on. Gonna nah, I was way off on that one. Changing right. it up a little bit more. Right, if so. not, it's quality. All right, so good. Kevin Smets. A little bit more recent. Kevin Smets, you right. spun the DCEU. An upgrade from DC, in your opinion. And your first of five questions for two points. What is the name of the king played by Dolph Lundgren in Aquaman? I don't know. King Nurius. Give him two points. Good job. I need to watch Aquaman All right. again. All right, your next question for two more points. It was fun in the Shazam, first At the Winter Festival... Six of the seven deadly sins emerge from the eye of Dr. Thaddeus Savannah. Which sin stays behind? Envy. Gluttony. Envy. He knew that one. He did. I was hungry. I didn't even know what the hell I was talking about when I was reading the question. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So envy. Five point advantage. Three questions left. In I love Envy. To your next More one. Envy questions. Which member of the Suicide Squad Chris. battles the Enchantress's mutated minions alone in an elevator? Harley Quinn. It is Harley Quinn for two more points. That's true. She does go up Kevin the elevator Smith's by herself. Starting to make himself look really smart, spinning away from DC yeah. and getting into the DCU. Your penultimate question in round number two. In the film Man of Steel, what was the call sign of Christopher Maloney's Colonel Hardy? I don't know. I can provide that. Is it A, Watcher, B, Champion, C, Eagle, or D, Guardian? Watcher? I go Guardian. Guardian. I think he guessed, and I think he got it right yeah. for a point. One more point. That was Very in the He dies. All right, your last one. In the world of DCE. In the film Wonder Woman, what does Diana tell the vendor after trying ice cream for the first time? We need um, need the quote. Exactly. Very proud. He knew the quote. He should be very proud. <laughs> impressive. He knew that. Impressive. That was five. Most impressive. Five points. <laughs> wow. Five points. And he finds himself ten points up on the former champion. I can do it too, so though. Mike Kalinowski will now spin. Mike Kalinowski will spin. And, and still put him one behind. Off the table there well, depending the if he goes multiple choice or wheel. two pointer. What's he going to be looking for? I don't know because usually he would be looking for that DCE. Yeah, that's, that's one of his that is off the board. Yeah. But you figure if he's seen like DC suit. movies, Mike knows a lot about those. And with the Smasher spinning away from them, maybe Mike feels like he would have a leg up as far as a potential steal. Spinner's choice. If he gets DC movies. Well, the wheel is MCU. Like sort of really comes into play. Spinner's exactly choice. Like study. You know, when movies to look for is where like the round. Spinner's choice. Spinner's choice. Spinner's choice. Yes! Yes! Yeah! Even it up. What's it going to be? Something that is, yep, absolutely. Is he going to pick something? All right, what do you got? What are you going to do? Is he going to DC movies? Rub it in his face? Or movies. All right. Yeah! Rub it in his face, man. This is the scenario that we envision. All right. All right, here you go, Mike. You spun away. I'm going Again, for it. Five questions here in the realm of DC movies. What is Halle Berry's character's name in the 2004's Catwoman? I don't know. I'll just go Selena Kyle because that's all I know. 
But it's like. not. Patience Phillips. Yes, for two points. Good job. Good job, Mike. Wow. All right. You'll hear a bombastic rendition of the 1812 overture accompanied by fireworks in what DC-based film? V for Vendetta. I love 1812 yeah. overture. V for Vendetta. Right. Yes. Yep. Two more points. Good Thank job. You. Question three. What does Bruce offer to give Dick Grayson if he decides to stay at Wayne Manor in Batman Forever? One of his motorcycles. Are they called Valkyries? But I would say just one of his motorcycles. Motorcycle. Yes, for two more points. Yep. All right, he's got two questions left, and he gets these both right off the bat like he has the first three questions. Yep. We are going to be tied heading into round number three. Question four. In 1978's Superman, what is the name of the police officer that Superman hands the jewel thief he caught climbing on the building? I don't know. He says it. That's rough. That is rough. Officer Mooney. Last yes. Name. Yes. Wow. Mike. Yes. Wow. Proud of him. All right. I'm glad I switched wow. to him. <laughs> All right. Mike, you get a chance to, to okay, tie it go. up. Right here. Go down by one tie it up. With this tie question. it up. In 2009's Watchmen, what is the name of Hollis Mason's, a.k.a. Night Owl, his autobiography? Oh, man. I don't know. Under the hood. Yes, it is a high game. Look at that. And that's what he does. That's what he does. So good. <laughs> neck and neck. We're 16 16 going in a round three. Smets was up by one. Now it is tied. And now we find ourselves in round number three. Mark, how's this going? Yeah, Christian, if you had any questions to whether these guys actually know their stuff after round number one, I think they answered that resoundingly. <laughs> and now we get to round three. Yeah, think. Could decide the match, unless we go to sudden death overtime. In round number <sighs> That's three, what Mike does, is, though. He pulls it neck and neck. Like, that, that was a perfect opportunity 16. for him. Spinner's Each Choice and DC showing Smets. Hey, you spun away. This is what I could do with it. Now they're here. Here, right? All up to round three. three. Perfect. Five Perfect. Points, and we are going to get the Back numbers. Back I wouldn't expect Mike anything Kalinowski less from him, you know, at this point. Are sitting in the favorite's chair. So between one to 16, what feels lucky to you, sir? Two, 10, and 14. Two, 10, and 14 for the former champion. Right. And now we go to six. He decided six. those he on, on that moment. Yeah. Like six, he had eight, nothing. Seven. He does six. not. It's just eight, how it is, man. And seven. We start with the smasher <laughs> at number six, Mark. All right. Smasher, feel weird calling another grown man that, but I just did. <laughs> you selected number six for your two-point question. Hmm. And that corresponds to? I keep looking away, but I can look up because the questions don't show up. For two points. Have it. The question. Right. What TV personality and well-known Tolkien fan makes Eva a brief cameo as a Lake this was already asked in the desolation of Smaug? This was already asked. This was already a Stephen Colbert. Two points. There it is. I mean, I get it. It filmed completely now we bounce the eons apart. Mike but... Kalinowski chose category number two. We're going to stay in this realm of Lord of the Rings this time. Lord of the Rings. Who is the brother of Boromir and the second son of Denethor? The character name, please. Is that Sean Bean's character? Boromir. Two points. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, that's low-hanging fruit. Yeah. yeah. Asking something that easy? I apologize. <laughs> I mean, come on, everybody knows the brother guy. All right. <laughs> Next one. All right, yeah. Kevin, you selected <laughs> number eight smile. for your three point question. Is it? And that corresponds to heroes. Heroes. All right. And your question for three points What is Shield Agent 13's first and last name? Sharon. Sharon Carter. Sharon Peggy. Carter. Good job. Right. I'm glad. I want them to hit all their right answers all the way to the end. Let's go to sudden death. Christian, I'm feeling we're careening towards overtime. All right. Mike, DCEU. Who plays the eccentric Dr. Stephen Shin in Aquaman? Oh, damn. It's fake Jim. Oh, ah. It's Brown Asian Park. Jim. Yes. Yep. There you oh, go. Damn. Now we bounce yeah, to you're the right. five. Kevin Smith. Fake Jim. <laughs> <laughs> you You're really not didn't Jim. ever notice? Jim's not Asian. <laughs> you selected number seven. 
And that corresponds to your five-point question in the world of villains. Just had heroes, now we get villains. And to break this tie and have a five-point lead, your query is, what are Green Goblin's final words in 2000? Godspeed, Spider-Man. Spider He's got it. Godspeed, Spider-Man. Don't tell Harry. Don't tell Harry. It's don't tell Harry. I changed it. Don't tell Peter. Oh, don't tell Harry. It's incorrect. Don't tell Harry. The answer don't is Peter. Don't, don't tell Harry. Harry. Peter, don't tell, don't tell Harry. Oh. All right, so we come down to this. If Mike Kalinowski hits his five-pointer, then Mike oh, Kalinowski was playing are... Rachel Cushing in I, San Diego. I would challenge if However, they said Peter. If Mike yeah. Misses, yeah. Why would he say then Peter? Sudden, that was a slip, brother. Yeah, that was a slip. Was, oh, I'm so uh, sorry. I am so sorry. Jerry Goldsmith. Don't tell Harry. Was the composer for five different Star Trek films. Name three of them. 20 seconds. Star Trek the motion picture. Look at him. First contract, first contact, insurrection, nemesis. And you're yeah, Mike! Look at him. That's so much to him. Look at the endorphins kicking in. Look at them kicking in. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike! Wow! Yes! Wow! Look at that. Look at the emotion. He's making me emotional. Wow. Good job, Mike. Oh my god, look at the emotion on Mike's face. He has done it. He has beat We'll be there, man. We'll be there in the crowd. Going back to San Diego, Chris. Wow. He gets to San Diego to play Rachel Cushing for the title. Look at look at corruption. Look at corruption. I've, Just I've never seen absolutely the thrilled. corruption. Look at, oh, look at all the look smiles. Look at oh, all yeah. the tears. There is true happiness Hell, like, on the that stage was right now. And why not? Mike Kalinowski with a pent up emotion. Victory. Well played, Matt. Swelling it over. It looked like it might have been the case of experience helping out Mike Kalinowski a little bit more. Oh, than Kevin she's Smith. there. Been in the league for longer. <laughs> she's there. Been in more types of these matches. Yep. So maybe he was able to handle the pressure a little bit better. But I think that corruption is now going to be wow. going to San Diego as look a very at that. tightening lift. Don't tell Harry. Unit, Christian, they look like they are a family. If they said it was so it Peter, like don't tell I, Harry. I'd be like, you didn't say how many of the last words. Don't tell Harry it was the last words. And Cushing three in the inner geekdom. It's the fourth time. I feel like they would have been like, so it's, this you is the third to say time. Peter, don't tell Mike lost Still, his title man. to Rachel at the Schmodown throwdown. He, he obviously slipped. And he wins an opportunity tell Peter. to face it, her again. The killer is going to Comic-Con 5-4. and four, And in order to do it, he had to beat the Clubber Lang of the Schmodown in Kevin Smets. He did it. Kevin Smets finds himself at 3-1 and one now. And I think you're exactly right. It was the lack of experience because he The name Peter and Harry. It's just yeah. so it's, it's right there. And it's on the edge of your tongue. And it gets stuck in your brain sometimes. It's a very tough question he to go out. He jumped at the question when he probably should have stayed a little bit more. Used his JTE rules and he jumped at it, but now Jen Sturger is with both Kaiser and the smasher, Kevin Smets. And it happens. Hey, Smets, uh, it happens, I mean, man. That it happens. Not go the way you planned it That's was crucial. Go. Um, how are you feeling after all this? This is the first time you've really come up against someone of Kalinowski's caliber. Yeah, uh, it was a hats off to him. That was a battle. Um, I got I just gotta own it. Uh, the lights got to me a little bit today. Uh, I got through. I got throw off when I didn't get Ray Park because I knew it. And sometimes I get in my head. And uh, I, tr I finally rallied and I got out of the second round. Yep. I knew that answer on the um, on the uh, <laughs> don't tell Harry. I mean, he's literally telling Peter, don't tell Peter. That doesn't make yeah. sense. So it's, yeah, it's I slipped. it up to look. Flip. I'm a rookie. Um, I know that uh, I need to start. You know, uh, Mark Riley would say you got to learn how to lose before you can really win. So. I'm gonna take this loss. Um, I know if anyone knows one. This is why it's good for him if he loses. He's, so he's got redemption. I was honored to play him, and uh, it's not how I wanted to go out today. He's got plenty more chances. And I really didn't know that was one of complete just. Uh, like uh, Christian said, maybe I should have taken a couple more seconds for it. Same with I had. I think I left two uh, JTE rules left. I could have done one for Ray Park and probably gotten there, and I probably could have done one for Don't Tell Harry. I mean, I knew it. I saw it. I heard him say the words, and it just came out of my. I heard the crowd just. The air sucked out of the room right when I and I knew I got it wrong. And so yeah. that's off to uh, to Kalinowski. He's gonna, it's going to be quite a show in San Diego. I'm really bummed, but you got more chances, man. You got plenty of chances. Kaiser, You're good. How are you feeling after this? You're loss? fine. Uh, Humble. How am I feeling well. Humble. Come uh, on. I'm proud of my guy. I mean, there you this go. Kid's been kicking a bunch of ass in his rookie season. 
He goes out there, he puts it on the line, he studies his butt off. I'm nothing but proud of him. He will be back. We will be back. Consider a 1-1 one, one split now with me, the dungeon, and corruption. They haven't seen the last of us. We will be back. Yeah. And uh, Stick look, around. we still got the one. We still got Paul. Your best to keep Grace away from me because I know how they she lose again. Me. If they lose Paul, though. Strong words. They're good. They're fine, the though. They're a new mess. faction. We've not seen the last. <laughs> and they're powerful. No. Tough loss today, but we'll see you again. Back to you guys. All right, man. Uh, look, I, I think that both Smet Smets is devastated. You can see, you can see it in the kid's face. He loves this game. He loves playing, and he knew, and he knew it. He, he everyone said everything slips. That was there that uh, I think he said it right when he said, you know, he Mike has come back from losses. He'll come back from a loss too. But this is the rookie thing. Yes, he had very impressive three straight wins. But when you come up against a guy like Kalinowski, you can't have those. Kalinowski's got it orchestrated. That's the kind of thing that I like to see in a post-game interview where you yeah. are in the moment and you, you, you take a step back and you look at the macro. You say, look, Micro, I wanted to win this match. It was important to me. But the big, big picture. picture here, I am a rookie and I am learning. Every rookie yep. and every veteran in the history of the Spelman has had to take their lumps along with their yep. successes. And that is the bowl of humble pride that Kaiser and Spencer Absolutely. have right now. Absolutely. And on the other end of the ledger, is the entire family now known as Kalinowski needed by, it? Course, the Corruption today, needed Mike it. Mike Kalinowski, Jen Sturger has an interview with him. That's why I changed. Of managers and because Smets yeah. will be fine. It's uh, definitely a KO. It would hurt them right now, guys. Uh, Ken, how excited is, are you for this redemption for Corruption? Jennifer, you call it redemption. <laughs> We call it where we destiny. belong. Destiny, yeah. Let me give you destiny. a history lesson. In 1990, Kevin Moss came up to the New York Yankees and hit 21 home runs and 254 at bats and took Major League Baseball by storm. By 1995, he was <laughs> out of the game. <laughs> a a great start is just that a start. Mike Kalinowski finishes what he started. And that's what he did today. I had so no proud idea of him. We're working for MLB Network now. <laughs> Mike, I saw you get super emotional after that win. What does this mean to be going back to face Rachel again? I wasn't even thinking about Rachel at this point. Uh, Smets is the best competitor we've seen. Um, so I had a lot going on with that. One of the. What was happening, but you know. There's plenty others. He played a great game. I don't know what to say to that. He, he was phenomenal. We, we got off to a rocky start, both of us at the beginning there. And I, I think it was kind of feeling each other out. But, you know, I want that belt. That belt was supposed to be mine. It was mine. It was mine to begin with. And I lost yeah. it. And on a vowel, and I haven't been taking it lightly. So, I, you know, I'm just tired after that match, and I'm just kind of drained myself. Uh, there you go. You know. Label out. Label out. Yeah, label if you're out. Gonna do product Come on. Placement, at least turn the label out. <laughs> label out. Hell yeah. <laughs> we know what it is. So good. It tastes so good. All jokes aside, I was actually I was actually standing backstage with Shannon um, when everything was going down in that yeah. round. And when you got that question right, she goes, "That was the last thing we went over." Yeah. Right yeah. Before you guys walked out. When he did those kisses, man, it was to I Shannon. Went over the, you know, Jerry Goldsmith and his films, and it was the last one we just did before we came in. You could see it on his face. <sighs> you know, I think that's why I kind of got emotional about it. But he played a great game. And the sad thing is, not sad thing, but he's going to be back. And I'm going to face him again. And we're going to go <laughs> yeah. all over again. Yeah, you're going to do it for the belt, it. too, if you win. Inner Geekdom needs players like him because it makes me better. You see where I went from last match to this? So I am Comic-Con, those are my people. That is where I belong. We'll be there. I'm going to take my belt back in front of all those people at Comic-Con. <laughs> it's destiny, as this man says. And Mark Ellis, I require rooms at the Omni or the Indigo. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing near SeaWorld. <laughs> yeah, we're staying near SeaWorld. Put them out of Holiday and Express. Back to you guys. Thousand dollars for the whole there, weekend and, of the Holiday uh, Express, too. By I mean, the way, you can see both these guys wanted. You know what I like? Though? I like the respect that they both gave each other, and and you had to. You had to because there wasn't a lot of bad blood going to this. They both really respected each other's game, and it and it showed as much. But Look, it, this is going to be one that bites Smets, and he's going to. I think it's going to make him better. I think it's going to make him hungry. I think it's going to make him more dangerous. Look at the history of competitors in the Schmodown, like elite yeah. level players who have had brain farts, for lack of a yeah. better word, on the biggest stage. You look at somebody like a John Roca who has come back from that, yeah. and he actually used that adversity to make slip. him better. So if Smets was not already a beast when it comes to studying and having his own training techniques before, wait till you see him the rest of this season 
and beyond. That's right. And also for you guys, if you didn't know, in the beginning, we did a pre-show for the collision, which aired on the channel live to everyone. We were going to be also which is how we're watching show. it. So a lot yeah. of the winners and losers and other people will be back on the table to talk about their matches tonight. Other things that they, uh, you know, saw the energy. We'll have Frankie numbers in there from the rundown. There'll be a lot. So make sure you join the uh, movie Break. trivia showdown channel if you don't already subscribe to the channel and you will see that post show but man what a battle it was Mike Kalinowski earning his spot there Mike Kalinowski finds himself in a very interesting position not only with Intergeekdom he's got a big match with Janine the Machine coming up in singles uh, I know that corruption and he's is going still to play doing the regular play one contender spot at some point or another so Mike Kalinowski is going to be very busy here over the next uh, couple of months as he finds himself in the Intergeekdom uh, number one he's number one contender now he's playing <laughs> yeah. for the championship on July 20th Tickets are also available for you guys to get those now. If you're going to Comic-Con, you got to see that rematch. The third battle. The third Don't battle. screw it up, Marvel. Put your, your panel early. early. <laughs> we got to be there. Man. Looking but, forward whew. to getting down to San Diego for this Comic-Con. You and I have a pretty light schedule as far as, like, covering it and doing all that stuff. So we really get to go down yeah. there. I'm doing stand-up Thursday night, American Comedy Company. Tickets now available we'll at MarcosLive.com. And then, obviously, yeah, we'll Saturday, you can go to the big schmodown that is in downtown San Diego. Christian, we'll um, be there? if we have some sort of, like, pre-roll package yes. we can throw to we'll for the next we'll match, that'll give me time to book Ken Knapsack's hotel room. Well, yes, we're going <laughs> to not only we vote. No, they're that, gone. We are going to, in just a second here, show you how we get to our, our next match. Because the dungeon... They're 0 2 so far. Yes, they were they were starting out this uh, as the big hot shot faction, right? Good but at talking. Zipper didn't get it done in the first one. Smets comes short in Over the second two. IG match. But now, as we get to our third match here, it is the number one contender match in singles. That's right. The two rookies. Oh, three man. And Somebody is going this to came out of nowhere. one in that lost column. Will it be the rookie sensation Liz Shannon Miller, Lightning Liz, or will Paul Oyama, who's going to win this match? We're going to show you how both competitors got here right now. Hell of a match. Hell of a match. Oh, my God. The intensity between the two uh, players here was just phenomenal. I mean, we've already seen Kalinowski in, in that realm. I was curious to see how Smets will come into something like this where you've got a big crowd kind of watching you and, and a lot is on the line when it comes to this. And man, did they deliver on this match for sure. Like all the way through, you just didn't know what's gonna, It's a, it was a toss up for sure. And then it, it just kills you, and I, I feel for you, Smets, you know, that point where you get to it, you knew the answer, you just... You flipped. You flipped it, and you just thought of something else, and it, you went for it, and I get it. It it does make the most sense, you know, when you just trip up over the names, and it's in your head. Your mouth says different what was in your head. You knew it was Harry, but Peter was the one that was there, so Peter's what popped in your head. Right. And unfortunately, I mean, that's what it came down to, is whoever was going to slip up, and slipping up on the the five point question is detrimental in a match like this right. because you were going to end up having that ability to lose everything that you were fighting for because more than likely your competitor was going to get it right and look at it it just happened to be something that he studied and even if it wasn't 99 percent of the time kalinowski was probably going to get it right so he knew that slip up had just like he said he heard the air get sucked out of the room he knew that wind got sucked out of the room it was right. over like you knew it was over the second he said that now granted there was a small chance but a very fine tiny chance that kalinowski would have missed wasn't the case he knew it he was emotional too you know shannon oh, was right there so off to the side yet. this crew works hard to get the answers and we hear about the things that smets is doing but man kalinowski we is also up there hear doing about too. what kalinowski does too i yep. mean they take the time they yep. break they have other things going on in their life but you could totally see it between these like they take this very seriously yeah. and they take it very to heart too yeah. so to see kalinowski get like so emotional over something like this was just uh, it, it, it tugged on your heartstrings, too, because you know that he, he was studying and he was working so hard to play this match, and he knew who he was going up against. He knew exactly who yeah. it was, and so he probably studied extra hard, and just to kind of be there and actually pull it off and finally being able to go back and compete compete for the belt again it was a hell of a match there for him. And then you're just, making Vanessa emotional, Mike. Oh, God. You got it with you, man. <laughs>
And then uh, freaking Smets, too. I mean, yeah. he worked really hard oh, yeah. too, just to see that. Well I mean, deserved. Both of them. Yeah, well deserved. Well he's deserved. gonna come back. He's gonna go for the belt. And Kalinowski, if he wins the belt, well, he's got to worry about Smets coming up and taking it up because right. what Smets is gonna learn here is definitely going to put him into the most dangerous category, and that's a a a champion who lost and those are the ones you got to look out for uh what held the weight of emotion i think for kalinowski was the fact that not only was it the win not only is it going back for the belt it's going down at san diego comic-con in front of everybody headlining and it's rachel cushing who we know the two of them are very close when it comes to these kinds of matches whether they're against each other or not uh they joined up around the same amount of time they skyrocketed to the fame of the schmodown around the same time so it definitely means a lot on multiple levels and the fact that we're going to get to see it go down uh, at San Diego Comic Con definitely means yeah. a lot to him as well to us. And it was all that riding on my decision when I switched over because Smets is fine. Uh, the dungeon's fine. They're all good because they can lose at the beginning and be fine. This was detrimental to KO. Him winning the belt, I also feel is detrimental. So I'm going to have to go with him when it comes down to it. But you never know how I feel when we're sitting in that crowd right. and things are said and my emotions are running you high. You just want it to play out. Yeah. And we're going to be exhausted after Hall H that day as well because of Marvel. Thank you. Hopefully. But the whole utilization of DC with this match too, with the DC films and the DC EU. I mean, it was kismet the way it played out. Mm -hmm. And we're just very happy for Kalinowski. But are you guys happy for Kalinowski? Let us know down in the comments below. You can also like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Startup. All the social... Look at that. It's starting to get me a little bit of a Uh All the social networking. Jin Jin you know where they are. Kicking the party. Feel the party. Keep the party going on our Patreon. Gets us where we need to go like San Diego Comic Con. Check out the reaction that we did for the Manager's Bowl and the other reactions that are following this one for the next two matches. The number one contendership for the championship battle and of course the team championship match. But check that out on our channel. Thank you guys so much and as always, now it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Got a refill. Mm -hmm.